So everyone knows that in Yu-Gi-Oh, your strongest card is your credit card. So in today's video, I'm gonna teach you guys how to abuse this credit card of yours to build the best deck. Welcome to Triple Counting. So rule number one with your credit card, fuck your credit card, because we don't need any of that shit. We're building Bunch of pendulums today, baby! And you don't need a credit card! You don't need to pay for droplets! What the heck do you need droplets for? What the heck do you need Quasal Designator for? The card's some ass! All you need is a Triff Gaming to teach you guys the correct way to play Yu-Gi-Oh! and pendulums. Let's actually get into building the amazing Bunch of Pendulum deck! So if you guys like this video, smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, and let's get started, boys. $50 budget pendulums right here, right now. Let's go. I'm literally gonna put up more negates than what any meta deck puts up. And look at my hand. My hand is literally worth 30 cents and it's not even that good. But what I wanna show you guys here is that it don't matter. Good, bad, every hand's insane. So here we go straight into the pendulum summon. No wisdom eye, no oath dragon, none of it. We don't need any of it. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna search for Joker. We're gonna special Celestial. We're gonna add a pen graph. If they hand trap anything, we don't care. We go into Artifact Dagda in this scenario. Celestial out at the end phase. Joker, effect to add. Dagda, effect to set. We're gonna go into Lovely Old Dragster. By the way, this card's like three cents. Then we're going to Lovely Old Tornado Dragon, also three cents. And then your opponent is gonna cry because you have double pop of Purple Poison, two interruptions. You have a Dragster full negate. And then on top of that, Artifact Scythe will stop your opponent from playing. That is an infinite thousand negate. So as far as I'm concerned, this video title could be called billion thousand negate uh fifty dollar budget pendulums but seeing as how i don't ever clickbait in my life ever in history because i don't then instead we're just gonna call this the best fucking fifty dollar budget pendulum deck in the planet because this is four negates with an infinity negate scythe gg this duel is over there's nothing my opponent could do and on top of that we're gonna add oath add wisdom get a good follow-up celestial and this is the deck list literally the whole deck main deck side deck and extra deck it's all under fifty dollars like it's so incredibly cheap. Curtain Raiser is probably the most expensive card in the deck. We literally even took out Dark Ruler because it was too expensive for our liking. We took everything out. Everything. Main deck, side deck, extra deck. No Needle Fiber. Like, the only card that are worth anything is Celine and Appaloosa. The rest of the deck is two cents. So cheap. Actually amazing. If you guys have pen calls, you could put two pen calls over two Celestial if you have them. But I'm aware pen call is like a few bucks. So you could do that. If you have Dark Ruler or Sphere Mode, substitute them for the sick, any of the Kaijus that you could possibly afford. If you have Access Code, definitely put it in. Musaseya is your card to play over Needle Fiber. If you have Needle Fiber, play Needle Fiber. Uh, and that's it. We're only playing one Tuning Magician because we're only playing one Needle Fiber. So you only really need one to search it when you want with Time Star. If you do have the Needle Fiber, remove the two Curtain Razors for three total Tuning Magicians. And if you have the pen calls, put in two pen call for two Celestial Magician. If you have Savage, you can play it over Ignister if you want to. And if you have Zeus, play Zeus. If you have Access Code, play Access Code. And that's about it. The deck is actually insane. And there's something about this deck that it literally just does not need expensive cards. Magician Souls is almost as equal value as a Curtain Razor. <laughs> I mean, the argument can be made that Curtain Razor is slightly stronger. Because it's a pendulum that goes to the extra deck after you special summon it. Souls does not go to the extra deck after you summon it. So with that being said, it's kind of the same thing. Souls is kind of a pendulum because I guess Souls could send Oath, Celine special Oath, Oath go to the extra deck. So at the end of the day, they are kind of the same thing, but like you don't play many spells. Souls effect doesn't get used that much. If you Souls away a star pen graph, next turn you're adding with star pen graph, so the value is not really there. So you don't need Souls in your deck. The only thing that it hurts is access code. If you can get your hands on an access code talker and a needle fiber, those two cards are very important to this deck. And if you want to play competitively, the six card side deck is also important. So you could take this 50 card base that you're looking at right now, add one Needle Fiber, add one Axis Code Talker, and I mean, your deck's fucking insane. And add two more Tuning Magicians here in place for two Curtain Razors. So all you really need is one Needle Fiber, one Axis Code, and just get three Sphere Mode, three Dark Ruler. Eight cards in total, they're about 40, 70. $70 and then whatever access code is worth. I understand access code is very expensive, but $70 for all the other cards. I, you could live without one access code, but when it does eventually inevitably get reprinted, it would be a massive uptake boost in pendulums. I mean, you make it every single time. As far as the, the other random magicians that are not three ofs, Poison and Fang are just inherently the worst ones. Dragon Pit is only good if you're playing Savage Dragon because there are scenarios where 
Harmonizing Special Dragon Pit, and the Tuning Magician you bring up from Needle Fiber or Selene at the very end or with its own effect will make a Savage Dragon. So it does come up in that scenario, and there's not enough back row decks in the meta at the moment to justify playing Dragon Pit for its scale effect, because you do have to discard a good Pendulum Monster that, like, there's no plus there. You actually neg one to get rid of it, it's just not worth, especially if it gets Cosmic Cyclone. It's good to have against backward decks 100%, but I wouldn't consider it mandatory to play. Uh, yeah, and that's about it, guys. Uh, I think this deck's insane. Whether the budget's $50 or $500, the power's pretty close. And I'm not saying this because I'm, like, I'm not being biased. I do think Pendulum Magicians are a tier 1 deck right now. And if I was biased, I would put them at the first place. It's not first place. I think Drytron and Trap Eldritch are the two best decks. I think Pendulum Magicians is absolutely better than Tri Brigade. Absolutely better than Virtual World, Dragon Link, all these trash ass decks. I think Pendulum Magicians is actually broken as hell. And I think that every single one of you should play it, even the budget version. I hope you guys enjoyed the budget pendulum video. Literally $50 budget pendulums. It doesn't get much cheaper than that when you can build the entire main deck, side deck, and extra for $50. Now, what I want to mention for the rest of the video is obviously if you're going to play a $50 deck, your, your deck is not going to be as good as it can be if you upped, if you had other cards. So, for the rest of the video, I just want to explain a few cards that are still somewhat budget, that if you do own them, to put them in your deck. So, for starters, if you do have three Pendulum Call, uh, like, you could still be playing a budget deck, but just have a Magician Core. That probably applies to a thousand viewers watching this video. So, if you own three Pen Call, play, add in the two Pen Call in your deck, and you can remove anything that you're not comfortable with that you don't already have in the main deck. You can remove a Celestial, even a Curtain Razor. But if you have three pen call, do play three pen call. Something else I recommend is if you have three sphere mode. This will help you a lot more in the if you're playing competitively to play three sphere mode, three dark ruler, three lava golem. These nine ensure that you don't lose to Drytron and you destroy Drytron and you destroy combo decks. Very important to be playing these. They are also cards that have been in the meta for a very long time. So if you own them or have them in different decks, just put them in your side deck and that'll suffice very well. Something else I'd recommend if you do own a needle fiber, a needle fiber, Celine. And Appaloosa is very, very good in this deck because you'll play around Nibiru very easily. So if you want to play competitively, if you do have extra money to dish out for a Needle Fiber to be able to go Tuning Magician or Curtain Razor, Normal Harma or whatever, just make Needle Fiber, bring out a Selene, Selene bring out Appaloosa, you protect from Nibiru, that way you don't lose to, uh, just hard to one Nibiru. Another card is obvious, very expensive though, is Axis Code Talker. If you happen to own Axis Code Talker, randomly throw it in but if you're playing a budget deck like access code talker is twice more expensive than the entire deck combined main set side and extra so is it mandatory no absolutely not but would it help it will if you have one put it in if not it's completely fine you can play without it and that's basically it as far as the cards that i would like you guys to throw in if you had but if you don't have it don't go out of your way for it don't go out of your way for souls don't go out of your way for access code talker this is definitely the most budget way to play pendulums and, and the best way to play Pendulums is better than Endymion right now, even with the budget version. It, it, it's just so good with Joker and Iris, especially because Nibiru is off the format. And if you play Needlefire to play around Nibiru, then you don't even care. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this budget video. If you guys want to see more budget videos, let me know down in the comments. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash the subscribe button, smash the like button. Check out the links down below at TripGaming.com. And I'll see you guys next video. Peace.